Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to remove a toilet. What's going on? Welcome to today's project. My name is Colton. Today I'm going to be demonstrating on how you can remove a toilet. It's really easy. Anyone can do it. And really it took me maybe 10 minutes to do. Now the tools that you'll need for this project are pretty simple. A pail or a bucket to catch the water. I'm using my drill, some sockets, a scraper for the wax ring that you're going to have to remove, a crescent wrench or an adjustable wrench, and an extra towel that you can use to clean up the mess. All of the products that I use in this video or similar products in this video can be found in the description down below. Now this demonstration video is just the removal of the toilet. So let's get started. This is the toilet that I'm going to be removing. Go behind the toilet and you're going to find a water line. Close this valve by a quarter turn or keep turning it until it stops. Give your toilet a flush. Try to remove as much water as possible. Go ahead and remove the tank cover and also check the water there. Really you're just going to try to remove all of the water from the tank as much as possible at least. You may have a little bit left over but that's okay. Now go to the bottom of your toilet and you're going to find these little caps. If you don't have any caps you might just have these bolts. Pop off the caps exposing the bolts and the nuts. Get a socket wrench or a drill or some sort of wrench in order to loosen these nuts from the bolts and make sure to remove the washers. Now grab some sort of container that will catch water from the tank. Put it beneath this hose. Grab a wrench and you're going to remove this hose by loosening it from the tank. When you do this, there's going to be a little bit of water still in the hose. Dump it into your container. Now you're going to remove this washer. This is where all of the water that's still in the tank is going to come out when you take out this valve. Just leave this valve in the tank when you're done. And if you made a mess, grab a towel, clean it up. Now you'll probably still have water in the actual toilet bowl and that's okay. So be careful when you remove the toilet. Some water may come out. Now lay down a landing pad for your toilet. Toilets are heavy, messy, and there's wax on the bottom of the toilet that you don't want that to ruin anything. Now this is where you're going to lift the toilet straight up from the bolts and make sure you clear the bolts and make sure you lift near the tank behind the seat but in front of the tank. You'll also want to make sure you clear the flange, the thing that's level to the floor that your toilet goes on top of. Try to be careful so you don't damage the flange, but if you do, it's an easy repair. So if you need two people to lift it out confidently, do that. Set your toilet on your landing pad and it may be a little gross under your toilet, so clean that up. Now you may have this wax ring on the floor or maybe on the bottom of your toilet. If it's on the floor, take a little scraper and scrape it off of your toilet flange and throw it away. Now don't worry, it's not going to smell like an outhouse, or at least it shouldn't, but I do like to cover the hole with some sort of plastic bag or something that I'll just stuff there because I will be removing the flooring. So keep an eye out for that video. And now you have a removed toilet. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Be sure to check out the links in the description to the products that I use. If you wanna see other videos just like this, go ahead and click this link right up here. And don't forget to click this link to subscribe. Keep in mind, this is actually just one of many parts in completing a bathroom renovation. So keep an eye out for future bathroom renovation videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.